Good morning, good morning, YouTube. It's your boy Humboy here. Come make us another video. Um, I, I gotta regain my thoughts because I was I was doing it. I was in the middle of doing the video. I just deleted it. But um, so Tua went on his uh, he went on to do an interview yesterday um, with the media about um, some things that I guess they were um, having questions about. In terms of his how he was feeling and you know his the game that they played against the Jets and his um his play without Tyreek and you know so on and so forth. Anyway, Tua sounded off with a sound bite that would that went a little something like this. Um, he basically stated that the narratives that he hears at all he keeps receipts as we all do it. He was like, "You're right. I'm only as good." As when Tyreek plays, or I'm only as good as, as Waddle when he plays, or I'm only as good as Mostert allows me to be. Um, he basically, like, in some of the words, he basically told the media to, to F off under the instruction of his own head coach. For that reason, today, first take, Shannon Sharp went on there and blasted the kid behind his comments, stating that, you know, where was the energy in the Tennessee game, and you're saying it's not because you beat the Jets. It really don't matter if he beat the Jets or not, Shannon. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, he's sick and tired of it. He, to me, some of the criticism that he faced ain't even, it don't even make no damn sense. He gets blamed for anything and everything that happens. They they fumble an exchange. It's his fault. They they throw a, they, they take a sack. It's his fault. They don't convert a third down. It's his fault. They don't do this. It's his fault. It's like, damn, some of this stuff, so I got to run around, catch the ball, carry the ball, into the end zone, block for myself and everything else. It don't make no damn sense. And Shannon though don't make no damn sense. Because when he played, pretty sure he didn't appreciate people telling him that he couldn't block. Pretty sure he didn't. But like he said, he made it his mind to become better so that he can he can do what he had to do to help the team win. That's whole that's to his whole mindset in this. Is the team success. Granted, yes, this is his best statistical year. It is. But he had the same year last year. The only thing was he got injured and, and the last, what, three games he didn't play. Because he missed five games total. He missed two games and he missed the last three. And that dug into his pro productivity. Right now he's at 3,900 yards. He's on pace with three games left. He's on pace with 4,500 yards, something like that. So which he still can do that, which is what I said in the beginning of the year. But they make it seem like, or Shannon made it seem like, He's boasting and bragging. No, he's not, sir. If anything, the kid is very confident than what he was when he had Brian Flores. Which Shannon should know that because, hell, Shannon had Mike Shanahan as his coach. And a coach does do something to a player's confidence. If that coach is telling Shannon he ain't shit and he ain't never going to be nothing, he ain't never going to run the routes, he'll never get it right, that would dig into Shannon's psyche. Because imagine how hard you had to work just to get there. Anyway, I digress. So... But uh, so um, it, it's it's got ridiculous. It has. I mean, I don't understand the point of him even putting that out there to make it seem like you know, well, Tua has to keep that same energy. Why don't you keep that same energy for other quarterbacks? You don't say that when Mahomes sounded off about his his situation. You didn't sound off at all. You made excuses for him. You made excuses. You didn't tell him to. Play better, blah, blah, blah. You made excuses for him. You made excuses for most people. In this league, you made excuses for LeBron. You prop LeBron away more than you damn criticize him. So, have the same energy for other people that you deem are better than this kid. Which, like what he said today, to be, what, to be where he is now, he's a pretty good damn quarterback. The most accurate quarterback in the league. But that gets oversighted because he don't have the arm shift. He ain't got this. He ain't got that. He makes up for what he don't have in a variety of ways. It's just not always spoke about because, hey, to them it don't make no sense to praise him where you can always beat him down. He rarely get praised anyway. And of all people, Shannon was the one in the beginning. Oh, Skip, did you see Tua? Tua's coming, uh, Skip. Tua, Tua's the real deal, Skip. Now he's, oh, well, you had that same energy when you lose. Hell, he stood up there when he lost and was like, it's on me. I got to do better. I got to do this. I got to do that. He took that whole collapse 
for that fourth quarter. That, that fourth quarter collapse when they won a 14, they collapsed. He took all that. And he got blasted by the media and by people on Twitter and stuff. He took it all. So what's wrong with him responding when he responded? Has nothing to do with him beating the Jets. But that was another narrative, wasn't it? Before they played the Jets, what did they say? How is he going to perform without Tyreek because Tyreek was hurt? And he didn't play. Well, how is he going to play? How is he going to look without Tyreek? He put up 240 yards and a touchdown. Had damn near a perfect completion percentage. Did he not? And you didn't you didn't get on the damn TV and say shit about that game because it wouldn't fit your narrative. He didn't get no praise for that. If anything, people find ways to, to critique and, and criticize him more behind that performance. He got more criticism than praise. But that makes sense, right, Shannon? That makes so much sense. So, I mean, man, stop it. You, you a grown-ass man. You 55 years old, and you still acting like a little bit-ass teenager on damn TV. So now, is so you can address people that criticize you. I've seen you do it on Twitter. You go after certain people that come after you, but you can do it, but he can't. And he ain't even directly address nobody. He said that he, he keeps receipts. He didn't say, I keep Shannon receipts. I keep Stephen A receipts. I keep Skip receipts. No, he said, I keep receipts. Which he don't keep them, and keeps them. Who's his damn, his basically his right hand person. She keeps the damn receipts. Because she informs him what's being said. But that's a problem when he comes out and speak, huh? But everybody else can do it. Stop, bro. You got to do much better than this, man. I mean, it's bad enough that the kid catches hell behind every single game he plays. Now, all of a sudden, he speak up the way he did. Now it's a problem. Stop it. That, that's just stupid. I thought, with, I thought since you were a former player and seeing that you came from the gutter of nowhere and had to work your way up to where you were now, you would actually understand when somebody's being constantly criticized for everything they do. But no, it seemed like you want to just feed the, the flames of everybody else and find a reason to jump on his damn back too. It's stupid. You could be critical of him at times, yes. Because he's not, as you say, beyond reproach. He's not. But at the same time, make it make sense. He should be allowed to say what the hell he want to say without being dissected to say, oh, well, now he's acting like he's, co he's cocky. Where is he cocky at? Because at one point they did consider him the worst quarterback in the league, even though statistically he wasn't. But, hey, they said he was. So apparently he must be pretty good from his rookie year to his sophomore campaign to his third year to this fourth year that he's taken off. He must have been pretty damn good these four years. Because he's never been considered the worst quarterback in the league. Ever. Anyway, man, I, I wish that, that I wish that take didn't even have to happen. But I appreciate Woody and I appreciate Dan for actually speaking up on his behalf. Because it seems like Shannon, that's all he do now is just come after the kid. It don't matter what he does. Like let's say this Sunday, two put up three hundred some yards, two two or three touchdowns. Shannon gonna find a reason why it ain't why he did it, he gonna find a reason why it wasn't because of Tua is because of Reek and Waddle and everybody else. He go it's gonna happen. He might say, "Well, Tua played great and blah blah,", blah but then he gonna but you know Tyreek did this and this and this and this. Just like you said, you you're not the focal point. Well, last season, tell me how that worked out when he got injured. What the offense look like? Hmm? What reek? Water and everybody else? What it look like? Like, give me clarity on that part. They look like hot shit, didn't they? Because they did lose to the Patriots, and they did they did nearly lose to the Jets at home to clinch the playoff berth. They did do that. After the Green Bay game, they fell in, they fell into a slump. They had to kick field goals against the Jets to beat them. But it's the same Jets team y'all talking about this year that don't have a quarterback. Their defense was number two in the league, and they put up 30 on them. But you got a problem with that, too. Stupid. Anyway, guys, that's my time. Peace.